प्राइवेट लिमिटेड माई सेल्फ मिताली जैन एंड इन टूडे सेशन वी विल लर्न अबाउट डिजिटल मल्टीमीटर विच इज थ्री एंड हाफ डिजिट ऑर्डर कोड इज डी टी एट नाइनटी एफ दिस डिजिटल मल्टीमीटर इज यूज टू मेजर द डिफरेंट वैल्यूज लाइक डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स वी कैन मेजर सच एज रजिस्टर कैपेसिटर डायोड्स एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो टेस्ट द कंटिन्यूटी एंड इन दिस वी कैन ऑल्सो टेस्ट द वोल्टेज एंड करेंट ए सी वोल्टेज ए सी करेंट डी सी वोल्टेज डी सी करेंट सो इन दिस वे वी कैन मेजर द डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स एंड देर आर एडिशनल फीचर्स सच एज वी कैन ऑल्सो मेजर द टेम्परेचर so this is our digital multimeter DT890F in this uh, there are different modes and this is a controlled node so you can see this is uh, to switch on backlight its display is LCD display which is of 1999 counts updates 2 by 3 per second and measuring method is dual screen loop integration a by d converter analog to digital converter so as you can see that its voltage and current varies from so its uh, dc ac voltage varies from 200 milli volt to 1000 volt as you can see and its dc and ac current varies from this is its ac current and this is its dc current so you can see that it varies from 2 milli ampere to 20 ampere and you can see that its resistance which is in ohms it varies from 200 ohm to 200 mega ohm and its frequency which ranges from 2 kilohertz to 200 kilohertz and the temperature which is here which is in degree celsius it varies from minus 20 degree celsius to 1000 degree celsius and the capacitance which is here it varies from 20 nanofarad to 200 microfarad so in this we can test the different parameters such as you can see that here is the dc voltage this is the ac voltage this is the ac current this is the dc current this is for capacitance this is to check the continuity and this is used to check the diode parameters this is used to find the resistance this is for hfe is basically for triodes and the transistors which we will connect here so uh, for the multifunctional socket which we use separately so in this kit this is provide this is inbuilt on the multimeter so we have to set to it to hfe when we will find this component then after that uh, this is for temperature and these are the three port it is for 20 ampere it's for milli ampere it's common port and it's for voltage and ohm so you can see that this is to switch on the light and these are some indicators and this is the multifunction socket We basically it is used to test the transistors and the diodes so and this is our display so this is the whole function of our digital multimeter and you can see at the back end so this end we have to insert the battery so first of all i'll switch on the supply so if we want to switch off the light so we can press this button and if we want to switch on the light we can press this button again so now if we, if we first of all we will find the continuity so for that first of all we have to set at the continuity and then we will measure the continuity of fuse so now you can see that i have connected the positive and uh, negative test lead so for continuity first of all we have to set it to continuity so this is on off so we have set it to continuity so to check the continuity so first of all let us hear the buzzer sound so for that uh, so you can also see that these light are glowing means these are basically indicator which shows that our device is working properly so now we will check the continuity for this fuse this is the fuse so we will check the continuity of this fuse so you can see that this fuse is working properly so in this way we can test the different components so now we will test the diodes capacitors and the resistors so now to measure the resistance so first of all we have to set it to resistance so this is ohm so i have set it to 20k then after that 
this is the this is the resistance which i am measuring the resistance so you have to so you can see that it's nearly about 1 kilo ohm so this resistance is of 1 kilo ohm which we have find on the multimeter screen now we will measure the value of this diode so for that we have to connect the leads So, in this way, so it is not showing, so we have to reverse the terminal. So, you can see that when we reverse the terminal, like we in previous time we have connected in wrong manner. So, we remember that we have to connect it in proper manner, then only we are able to get the output. So, in this way, you can see the diode configuration. Then, after that, we will check the continuity of transistors and the diode root. So, now we will test uh, the configuration for this diode uh, transistor triode basically. So, I have connected remember that connect according to its configuration if it is uh, base collector emitter or collector emitter base connect according to that only. So, I have inserted that. So, you have to press it tightly then only you are able to get the value. So, you can see the fluctuations in the readings. So, this in this way you can measure the triode measurement and now we will measure the temperature. So, for that first of all we have to set it to temperature. So, as you can see that I have set it to temperature. So, this is the temperature. So, it is currently showing the room temperature. So, now after that we have to uh, place these uh, test probes. This is the temperature probe. So, for that first of all we have to insert the common one then after that uh, this probe in this. So, in this way we have inserted the probe. Then after that when I am holding this, so uh, this is my body temperature. So, it is showing 30 degree Celsius. So, in this way we can measure the body temperature. So, you can see that readings are fluctuating. So, in this way you can measure the uh, temperature. And this is all about today's session. For further query, you can contact to Tesco Technologies Private Limited and you can also refer to its user manual. So, thank you for watching the video.